Thank you, Mayor. I think it's incumbent upon me, first of all, to say that I wouldn't be standing here today and Robertson County would not be days away from finishing a comprehensive growth plan with our friends at Little John and Associates if it were not for the relationship between Robertson County and Cumberland Region tomorrow. And Dr. Jones, we are indebted to you for all that you have done for us over the past decade because that does go back some 10 years. Now, many people might commonly assume that I came into uh, Middle Tennessee with James Robertson and that we uh, crossed the frozen Cumberland together on Christmas Day. I won't confirm or deny that, but I've been here a long, long time. In fact, I've been in county government since 1972. And when I was elected to county commissioner in 1972, Robertson County had no planning office. We had no codes. It was still very much of a time when many people took the attitude, this is my property, I'll do with it as I see fit. But Robertson County has evolved as Middle Tennessee has evolved. And when, through the help of Cumberland Region Damar and the American uh, Institute of Architects came together in our county for a visioning process in 2007, we saw over 125 people come and spend an entire weekend visioning about the future of Robertson County. Where do we want to go? What kind of community do we want to be? And I think finally we had a type of epiphany and we knew that we were eventually thinking many of the same things. And I think we came as a community to realize that we had a very narrow window of opportunity in Robertson County to preserve a way of life that we've had there forever. As we grow, we grew 22% in the last census, but to do all that we could to focus that growth on where our existing infrastructure was, which basically was near the interstates and from Springfield South, but also most importantly to keep alive and vibrant our largest industry, which is agriculture. Besides preserving a way of life, which many of us consider very near sacred, agriculture is worth $100 million a year in Robertson County. And for those of you who may not know the region, Springfield, our county seat, is 30 miles from where you're sitting right now. But yet, just a couple of miles away from there, some of the most pristine, productive farmland in the world. So we had that vision in our hearts and our minds, and I think we began to see, see it compelled as we came together in 2007. So we have worked now through Little John for almost the past year. The plan's almost complete. The plan will be brought to the community at large beginning next week and hopefully will be adopted by the county and a number of cities within the county later on this year. But I am grateful for how the community has embraced that. Uh, I'm, I've told you a little bit about the past in a moment, Commissioner Jonathan Garner, who is a young commissioner who was elected in 2010, whom I depend on, has led the steering committee and has done an excellent job of coordinating that. And so I've told you a little bit about the past. Commissioner Garner will tell you where we go from here. Uh, when I chose him, I chose him because of his alertness, his brightness, his ability. And also about the same time, I think, as I asked Jonathan to do this, I also appointed him chairman of the Animal Control Committee. So I kind of owed him one because I knew, I knew this was going to be good, where animal control isn't always uh, all that glorious. But uh, once again, grateful to Cumberland Region tomorrow for all that you have done to guide Robertson County through this process. And I, I only will leave you with this, as I think many of you heard me say before, if you're an elected official. And that is, I hope that in the years to come that we catch up with our constituents in the sense that our constituents, the people that we represent, oftentimes live in one county, work in another county, worship in another county, shop in another county. The county lines and the city limit lines only are important to people like us. It's time that in our own minds we begin to erase that. And that's so easy to say and so hard to do. But it is essential for the growth and development that we all think of this as a region. I would love to see new jobs coming into Robertson County and some really good jobs are coming now that we're very proud of. But when that doesn't happen, when jobs come to Sumner County and Montgomery County and Davidson County, we all celebrate because we all win. 
So the impact that regionalism has had, and I think that this region has, has outpaced most of the country in thinking of those terms, is one reason that we are where we are today and gives us hope for where we are going to be in the future. Once again, thank you.